Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is trouble. Trouble. Now I've got plenty of people in my life that I'll, I'll joke and when I see them, I'll holler at them and call them trouble. But you know, we're just kind of joking and picking at one another. But you know as well as I do that there are enemies around that typically that's all they want to do is stir up trouble. Now this could be people inside the church building this could be people outside the church building it could be people you work with it could be people in your family it could be even friends co-workers people in your community people in in places of high power on throughout our government locally and abroad now just to think about all of those things those enemies that's their goal that's because our, our true enemy is Satan, and, and he's the one that's driving all of this. And so the trouble that they're trying to stir up, when's the last time you really prayed against their trouble? I, I kind of like what how David puts it today in our psalm. So Psalm 7 today, looking at just verses 14 through 16, and always I pray that you are reading all of these passages uh, to, to get the entire point and the entire message what God's word is teaching. So in Psalm 7 verses 14 through 16 says, Behold, the wicked brings forth iniquity. Yes, he conceives trouble and brings forth falsehood. He made a pit and dug it out and has fallen into the ditch which he, which he made. His trouble shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down on his own crown. In other words, may they reap what they sow. That's a New Testament truth just as well. We know this to be true. And, and we were even talking about this uh, lately uh, in our home. Uh, some of the kids, we got on the subject and I said, you know, sometimes what goes around comes around. And, and I mean, we see that, that, that God is looking out for us. It, it's not as some people would call it as they call it karma. All right. That, that's uh, from a sinful belief system. It's not karma. It is God seeing how things are working out. It is a lot of times people just simply reaping what they've sown. And, and you and I have faced the same things. We've made poor decisions and then we have to uh, reap the consequences of those. You, you've made great decisions and you've been able to reap the benefits of those as well. But here as he's talking about those who uh, are instigating trouble, conceiving trouble, I think it's, it's something even to look at other uh, translations here that we'll talk about. It, it'll use the, the, like the pregnancy terms, right? That they're pregnant with trouble and, and they, uh, with wickedness and they conceive trouble and, and then it gives birth to more trouble. And, and isn't it something to see the process of the wicked that it's the same way that we will fall into believing those lies? And it's kind of the same way that, you know, you can't just tell one lie. Because then you're going to have to tell another lie to cover up that lie. And then uh, another lie to cover up both of those lies. And then depends on who you're talking to, maybe how you told that lie. And, and it just goes further and further and further. And that's, that's really kind of the idea of how sin begets more sin. How sin gives birth to more sin. And he says, look, my enemies, that's all they want to do is they want to stir up trouble. And a little bit of trouble here stirs up a little bit of trouble over there. A little bit more trouble over there creates a whole lot more trouble here. And it goes on and on and on. And, and you can imagine that David is frustrated with what's going on. And at times where he really is just calling out to the Lord and said, Lord, I pray that you, you would turn it back. Maybe God, maybe you would show them. But the thing is, is here we see that God, when I trust you, my enemies, all they do is they dig a ditch and they fall into it themselves. Now, I can't help but think that David probably had a little bit of a smirk on his face when he wrote those words. And I don't say that, you know, it's not that we should get satisfaction out of the, the wicked stumbling. But the satisfaction we should get is the fact that God is still in control. And that God sees all and judges all. And he'll, he'll vindicate all of us who are, if we're living righteously, he will vindicate all of us one day. 
We don't need to do it on our own. We can wait until he does it. And his timing is perfect. Anytime we try to jump ahead and do it ourselves, we're only going to make a bigger mess. So today, I don't know what trouble you may be facing. And I don't even know what trouble the enemy is stirring up for you today. I don't know what uh, trouble he's stirring up for me today. But I know just as yesterday, just as I said, we needed to turn our terror into trust. Today, why not turn that trouble into an opportunity to trust God? Turn that trouble into an opportunity to praise God through the process. And to say, you know what? God, if you be for us, who can be against us? God bless you. And I pray you have a great, great day.